Hi, it's me, Beth again. I'm here painting another project. I'll be painting on black cards. Um, I usually paint the card, and I also like to paint the envelope too as well, just because it's a little extra something. Now, these uh, cards usually are quite stunning, and they stand out because you've got the colors on the black. It really is a nice look. So, I usually um, just try to use up paint. Like right now, I have some leftover paint from my last project I was painting. And uh, if you were joining me for that, you would know it was some poppies. So I just have assorted colors. So I just want to get a bit into my brush here. I always make sure your lighter color is on there. I've got some yellow, some red, and touch of white. And I'm just going to do a fun little outside design of a, say a rose maybe. And work my way in. You always want to make sure you've got lots of paint on your brush when you're working with uh, paper. And paper is very porous. So, but like I said, it's a great way to use up little bits of extra paint you have. And uh, you can come out with some pretty fun designs when you've got all these different paint mixtures already on the brush. So it just makes it fun. It's kind of going in there. Now, what I usually do is just kind of give it a spin as I'm going along to give me a little more hold on it. And uh, I like to give a little bit of pressure. It gives a little bit of a ridge as well. Tiny little ridges. I think they definitely give it a little bit of depth there. Brings a little something to your you're painting and I just get smaller and smaller as I go in and as I said this is just for fun we don't have a lot going on with this but we're going to just make it a really soft and fluffy kind of designed card I don't want really harsh colors but we do want to vary the colors a tiny bit here and there yeah. For me, I'm not going to put a ton on here, but just enough so you can get the uh, idea of what I'm doing. But since I just want these kind of light and fluffy and I don't want a lot going on, I'm only going to do a few coats here. Yeah. Like I said, I've just got a couple of different colors, and I'm just going to wipe my brush on this paper towel. I'm not really worried about some of the paints mixing together. I've got some green and some white, and I've got one on each side. I'm just going to put them together as you do with one stroke. Oops, I'm going to put a tiny bit of the red and that on my brush just to get a little extra color in there. Like I said, I don't like it to be one color. Kind of takes away from the look. Good, good blend in there. And then we're just going to go along and do like a nice one stroke leaf. Now I'm not fussy about which colors I use. I just like to use whatever got on hand. I think the best way to go with it. I'll maybe do another one down here. And you're just going to do the wiggle and a little seashell. Have fun. And I think we could do one more over here. And then we'll do a little accent here and there. that one a little different. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little green and a little white, mix them together for my liner and then we're just going to kind of go along and have a little fun with some trailing vines and whatever just to, uh, like I said, give it a little more of a look. I think I need a little more paint on there. You can use uh, different mediums. They have different floating mediums with this kind of paint, and that can give you a um, not so thick of paint to work with, which can be very helpful. But this I'll do for now. This is just a quick demonstration, so you can see. And then I'm just going to get more on the brush here, and I'm just going to do some tiny little leaves. 
They're not one stroke or anything. They're just little tiny leaves for fun. And it's just going to give the painting something else going on. So I don't want them loose. I don't want them exact at all. If they're exact, we're just going to kind of lose the uh, looseness. There's no rhyme or reason, just here and there. Keep re-adding lots of paint. And it's your design. You do it however you want. There we go. And what I usually do... I didn't do it now. I should have. Is uh, When I'm making the one design, I usually, at the same time, like to do just a little bit of something over here. You know, so that we've got uh, something on the envelope and it just makes it for fun something uh, that's my dog moaning if you can hear him in the background because he needs my attention apparently but anyways just something to uh, bring together the design for me I just go right over as long as you let it dry open you should be fine And you're just going to put some strands, and again, just some quick strands, some leaves, doesn't matter where. And like I said, it just kind of brings your designs together. Demons around there. There you go. And there you go. It's just like I said, a quick design of something that goes together. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.